The MBA management group of Doug and Renee is happy to present this report on the evening and online MBA programs. But first, we would like to thank all faculty who have taught in both programs. Without your hard work, we would not have successfully launched the online MBA program in spring of 2018. The MBA curriculum applies to both the evening and online programs. For 2018 and 2019, we did not have any major curricular changes to the MBA program except for the addition of a new concentration, the Healthcare Administration. The HCA concentration is available in the online MBA program only since two of the three electives in the concentration will be offered only in that program. These two electives are MBA 546, Advanced Healthcare Communication, and MBA 537, Healthcare in the United States. Both of these courses are scheduled to be offered next academic year. With the addition of the HCA concentration, the online MBA students now have five specific concentrations from which to choose. The evening program still has eight concentrations. Now, the fun part. As of September 10, three weeks before the start of the fall term, the evening program has 31 registered students. This compared to 44 in fall 2018. Of these 31, 13 students are new, two started in spring 2018. We are expecting at least two more new students to register on orientation day on September 23. Each of the three fall evening MBA courses will have an enrollment of at least 20 students by September 30. The online program continues to grow. 156 students have registered as of September 10. At the rate of new student applications we have been receiving and processing, we expect to add another 10 to 15 by September 30. Academic Partnerships has been busy recruiting new students to our online program. Here's the trend of the number of students the program had since its launching in spring of 2018. The time from spring 2018 to this past summer was a ramp up period. Given our term to term retention rate, which fluctuates between 80 and 90%, we expect to reach 200 students by end of this academic year. Our SCH number from the online program is growing. You might note summer 19 having the highest SCH produced. This is because there are two seven-week sessions during this term. For fall 2019, the total SCH is projected to be around 900 or around 60 FTEs. You ask, how did we do financially in the first full year of the online MBA program? We recall the term-by-term -term SEH. Applying the $430 per credit tuition, we generated the following term-by-term -term tuition revenues. Here's a snapshot of the academic year 2018-2019 financials. The total SEHs for academic year 18-19 translated into a tuition revenue of $1.155 million. Half of this, or $577,000, is SOU's share. Subtracting the instruction cost for 19 courses at $8,333.33 per course, which amounted to $152,000, SOU realized a net income of $425,000. Subtracting coaching and course development expenses from this amount, it is reasonable to say that the program generated a profit of at least $350,000 in academic year 1819. Given enrollment trends for fall 19, we can reasonably project to double this amount in academic year 2019. 2020. How is the quality of the online program? In spring 2019, a group of 12 MBA evening program students 
and 19 online MBA students took the national ETS major field test. This national standardized exam evaluates students' competency in five functional areas, marketing, management, finance, accounting, and strategic integration. Areas are covered by 10 core MBA courses. We compared the performance of online versus evening students and against a group of 207 MBA programs that administered the major field test. This table compares the mean percent correct in each of the five areas by each of the comparator groups. Green means that the average score exceeds the national average. The online group had higher mean percent correct than the national average in all of the areas. The evening group, on the other hand, was higher in only one of the five areas. In all five areas, the online group had higher average correct scores than their evening counterpart. We then compared the percentile rank of the mean percent correct scores of the SOU groups against the national group. Once again, the online group had higher percentile ranking than the national group. The evening group had the same percentile rank in three areas, one higher rank and one lower rank compared to the national group. This past spring, we had a group of online students who participated in the hooding ceremony. Most of them also participated in the commencement ceremony. One of the students drove from Salt Lake City, a handful from Portland area, and one from the coast. 16 of the first cohort who started in spring 2018 completed or will be completing their requirements by the end of the summer. Four are expected to complete their degree requirements by end of fall 2019. So what did the first group of graduating students say about the online program? Here are the results of the exit survey sent back by six students. Comments made regarding the greatest strengths of the program were generally about the online, fast-paced format, allowing professionals to achieve their goals. The students cited academic highlights used for in their careers. These include learning GIS to solve business problems. Each course, without fail, offered some connection to career. Improved writing skills. Assignments to complete projects that were useful to work, and accounting coursework. The students were also asked to rate their level of agreement to specific statements about the program and the coursework. This bar graph is a visual representation of their responses. More green represents strongly agree. In almost all statements, the students were mainly in strong agreement with the statement. Of note are the strong agreements of the statements would recommend SOU's MBA to others, satisfied with the overall quality of the program, overall value or benefit of the program more than outweighs the cost, as a result of the MBA, will be able to earn more income, will earn a promotion, and degree will provide more career opportunities. In terms of what the core courses had to offer, most responses were very positive. All students strongly agreed with the statement, I am now more confident in my understanding of strategic operations management principles and business policy. Well, it looks like we're off to a good start. Reporting from Old Faithful, Yellowstone National Park, this is Rene Ordonez.